Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing something a little bit different. We're going to take a look at a game I actually got a free key for to do a little bit of a review on. This is Pro Basketball Manager 2024. Think of this basically as FM for Pro Basketball, uh, the NBA here in America. It also has a bunch of other different countries and leagues and everything that you can play as. Playable leagues, you can play in a couple of, in two American leagues. Asian League, uh, eight continental competitions within Europe, so and then even Oceania, Australia, New Zealand. You've got a bunch of different leagues that you can play in. You can also play on the national stage. Uh, I started my career in Boston, which is where I actually grew up. So, But when you do pick a team in a league, it also kind of throws in the nationality as well. You can always resign if you want. I did. I, I, I really don't want to take a look at the international side. Uh, I just want to kind of see what the league itself is, like NBA. Boston has it, a fantastic NBA team. Uh, it should do very well, get to the ch the finals. Uh, if not win it, we'll see what actually happens. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start a new game and take a look from the very beginning. I'm going to play for a little while and just kind of show you some key er areas. Uh, you can see, play, create your manager. You can actually go through and do a lot of different or some different areas in creating your own profile and your own picture and things like that. You can also take a look at what type of manager you are. You got tactician, jack of all trades, manager, tutor. I'm going to go for a tactician because I want the tactics to be done and sorted. Now you can choose your teams. You can choose your countries, everything. You can choose your competitions. American League we're starting with. There's my Boston team right there. You can see players wise, they are the best is Lob Angeles. I don't know why they went with Lob instead of Los Angeles. That seems to be a typo. Players are not the actual players. However, I will show you that in a minute. But Boston team is very close to Lob Angeles uh, and average is much better than average. And then unfortunately, the finances are not great. The facilities are not great. So we'd have to work on that as well if we we're going to play a long term thing. But Lob Angeles, for some reason, I just don't get it. So national team, I am going to start off with nothing. You can start off with the women's national team or the men's national team, uh, but I, I really don't want to focus on anything but that. USA American League is where we're going to start. And then we're going to take a look. So staff management, you can do a couple of different things staff-wise. Uh, if set to automatic, the artificial intelligence will recruit and renew the staff of your team. I don't want to deal with that. I've had enough issues with FM on staff recruitment. So we're going to let the AI deal with that for right now. So here is your main screen. You've got your budget, your player satisfaction schedule, the league itself, some notes on the league, and then how, you know, what their standings are. Now, as you take a look at the team itself, Jason Tatum uh, with an E instead of a U in real life, Jalen Brown with, you know, U instead of an O. So you've got slight changes. I'm not going to tell you how good the players are versus their real life. I know that these three are fantastic right now, lighting up the league. Messages wise, let's see what we have. Welcome to Pro Basketball Manager. I don't need that. So American League objective, unfortunately, is basically the qualification for the final. Get to the final. Uh, and if you can, you can always change that. Up the objective to win the final and you'll get a little bit better of a budget. And if you look at the budget right now, budget at the beginning of the season, 117 million, 116 remaining. Cap room, 11 million. It looks like we're under the cap room. Uh, and luxury tax so far, nothing. But if we go through, you can see there's a lot of different areas of note and a lot of different tutorial pieces. Uh, but we're not dealing with staff or anything like that. Trophies. Yeah, we have a ton of trophies in the last, what is that, 60 years or so, 70 years. So we are doing very well. Tactics, you can change up some tactics, change up your lineups, things like that. Now, I will say I do not know a lot about, you know, the NBA in terms of all the ins and outs, the training, you know, team training, things like that. I've got to figure these things out and figure out how to deal with them. I'm so used to FM and how it deals with stuff. Uh, I kind of get it back into the U.S. mindset of all this. So name arena, Boston's arena. Boston Arena is not the name of the stadium. We have the TD Garden in Boston. That is what it's called, and that's what it's going to be. Changes have been saved. So staff-wise, we're not really dealing with staff. Recruitment Center, I've got to figure out some of the young children of this league and see how things go. Terrence Davis with three stars. Transfer market. So recruitment, scouting, we got to figure out all of this stuff. Georgius Papadopoulos is 29-year-old, two-star Scout, available for a mission. What kind of mission are you going to go on to Albania? Player-wise, we've got... So we, we're missing some point guards, it looks like. Well, we got one in Peyton Pritchard, but he's not very good. 
So we're going to have to go how, see how this goes throughout the season. Uh, we're going to continue right now. So right now we're just going to scout a couple players that look interesting. Uh, that we could possibly add to the team some free agents. So we'll see what happens with that. But we're going to continue right now. Kind of get to the first match and see how it goes. So it looks like we got a couple scouting reports in. I've taken a look at one or two. Uh, ben Kupat Jr. does not have the level to compete in the American League. Uh, thinks he has the potential to become a solid rotation player, though. So he's got a lot of negatives against him. Uh, I'm going to scout the play a little more and see how he does. We've had a player come in, if I can actually get there. Some of these menus are pretty slow. Trent Forrest is pretty much good enough to go right now. Will not progress much more. Has some negatives. He's inexperienced, but that'll change. It's not seem far from reaching his full potential, which is nice. So I've got him scouting a little bit more. Uh, Eek, Eric Curry. How is he doing? Does not have the level to compete in the American League. Has the potential to become a solid rotation player again. So I'm going to have him scout it a little bit more. Uh, so we'll see what happens with these guys. But I do want to kind of show off the game match engine. It is very interesting to see when you take a look at it. it there is a 3D engine. It does... Oh, he's left for his national team. Okay. So we'll actually... Can we get to Orlando a friendly game in the next 50 days? So you can see the other player, the other teams and things like that. Uh, I do just want to get to the game itself and show you that 3D engine. It runs really fast is my only issue. So as you can see, before we get into the first game of the season, or at least the friendly game, I, all these players, there are a couple players who have gone off to their national team. And you can see Al Horford's come back. You can see how he did. Uh, 20 to 8 points versus Senegal. Not too bad right there. You can see all of his time, all of his stats. It's, I mean, it's really a very well stats-driven game, it seems like. It, clearly, it's not up to the standards of an FM where you've got stats galore and such a stat engine behind it. But for someone who loves manager games, you can definitely get into this, see what the stats are like, see what the numbers are like, kind of play around with the stats and figure out the, you know, how the engine works. Now, I don't think there's an actual editor that goes behind this. So I don't think you can take LeBron James, put him on the Celtics and see how he does or how, you know, amazing the Celtics would be that season. If there is one, I have not seen one. I would love to see one for, I think all types of these simulation games need to have some sort of editor it's just kind of a must. So as we head into this first game against the Orlando Magic, uh, let's take a look at the schedule. When is the start of the season? So 10-26, so October 26 against Miami. So that'll be a good one. Uh, we're going to see how we do, but you can see right now everyone's returned from their national teams. Looking, I mean, the starts estimated levels look okay. We've got a bunch of players that just probably aren't really good enough. Uh, and again, I'm not a basketball person. The last time I really watched basketball, you know, to a lot of a degree, you can see today's a friendly match. You can simulate it. You can play it. We're going to play it and just take a look. But the last time I actually watched a full set of games, you know, probably a season, is back when Larry Bird and uh, Magic Johnson were around. So it's been a long time for me. But it's I love these types of simulation games and these types of games that... You get to play around with the, the players and move them around and things like that. But as you can see, Orlando, Boston, game information, game odds. Does that mean the Magic are ahead? They think their Magic are going in? 13,000 fans in Orlando's arena. Uh, they won their last game. We haven't played yet. So, we're it, you know, you can set up your tactics just like normal, freshness. You've got fitness level concerns, uh, estimated levels. Why are so? And I'm going to get my assistant coach to do that. So we've got everything set up according to the assistant coach. We're going to start the game uh, and see how it goes. It Again, the 3D engine, it looks really cool, but it is, you know, finicky. It is a little bit dated. Uh, you definitely would love to see better graphics on this. But I think for a basketball sim game, that's probably not got a lot of money in development. I think it did really well. So we're going to start the match. You, again, you can speed up everything. You can uh, play it, pause it. You've got a couple of things up here. You've got your timeouts, basically tactical changes. You can get defensive. Uh, you can see your defensive tactics, things like that. Oh, Horford to, I don't even know. There we go. I found in a couple matches that I played or a couple games that I played, some of the, the shooting doesn't seem to be right. Uh, we had a lot of players see that just couldn't shoot the ball. So Celtics up three now, up against the Magic. But 
action by action, you can see you can have little boxes up here, just like FM used to have, uh, but they got seem to get a rid a, away from at least. Wow, you're not you guys are not pressing him at all. Yeah, I mean you can see the dribblings. The animations aren't all the greatest. Uh, they kind of stand around for a little. And again, a lot of the shots, for some reason, and maybe it's the tactics that I have, but the shots seem a little bit iffy. But again, uh, you know, probably not a lot to this game uh, in terms of development and money that goes to it. So it's just nice to say, wow, they're crushing us. <laughs> I mean, they're coming back easily. Uh, and the quarters are definitely long, 10 minutes. It's This whole game is probably, I mean, why he missed that, I will never know. But this whole game is probably going to take, you know, half an hour to get through. So tactically, you can see if I go to defensive tactics, you can defense, man-to-man, -man or a couple of zones, full zone, court zone, man-to-man, -man, full court, uh, one through one. And this is where I don't know. I don't really know. I know zone. I know direct man. I know things like that. And if we go to offensive tactics, starting formation, three out, two in, uh, default offensive style, tempo, you can see shot, re shot repetition, offensive rebound strategy. So... Crash the boards. Let's see what that does. But, I mean, Orlando is kind of kicking our asses right now. And they are going fast. They've got, I mean, why is no one on 10? I've got to figure out how to, to press that dude. Because he is getting three after three. And Holiday shoots it. Damn, that was a far one. From pretty far out. But, you know, what? what's going to happen with this game? We, again, plenty of time. We're not going to show you the whole thing. How, but oh, come on guys Wow You got some special moves here Which is interesting to see uh, I wish we oh really is that a foul? No, you're just pushing the dude over Is the oh, I guess it was a foul So I mean again 3d engine is pretty cool to see a 3d engine. I'm, I've never been a huge fan of the 2d engines but you know, it needs a little bit of work. Uh, we got some players that are tired. We're going to shift them out a little bit. So we're going to do, I mean, Witta and... Oh, is that Witta? I guess. And then Holiday need a, needs a little uh, encouragement. Luke Cornut. So we're going to get those ready to go. Uh, Jalen Brown is starting to, to lose it a little. So we'll switch him out in a little while. But Jason Tatum's on fire. Straining threes left and right. Uh, we're heading into the end of the first quarter pretty soon. Was that that was a foul there? That was a defensive foul. That was annoying. Wow, speedy. But it's pretty cool. I, I will say this is a pretty cool game uh, so far. Very interesting compared to the FM style that I'm used to. And then playing out of the park baseball is also really interesting. I really wish the graphics of that would get a little bit better in the next couple of iterations, but they just haven't changed anything in so long. And FM, and then you see this with their 3D animations. You know, something's got to change at some point in Out of the Park. Okay. <laughs> I, I thought the ball got stuck there the first time I saw that, but nope, it's the guy, it's the ref telling everyone what's going on. But 30 to 25, we are not doing well, and they are just draining more. Yeah, I couldn't drain those the first time I played. So we're going to end this. We're going to simulate the rest and just see how it does. You could simulate the game, the quarter, or action by action. And we're just going to go to the game, see how it ends. Uh, and overall, we're not playing all that well. They, we lost the game. That sucked. By not too much either. Uh, but it's only a friendly. So we're going to continue and get to the rest of the season. So as you can see, simulating through the next match against Salt Lake City. Uh, 122 to 111. Not too bad there. Finally getting our first... I mean, win, and it was a very good one. Jalen Brown, 26 points. John Collins as well. So overall, you know, we'll see how the season goes. So it is kind of nice. You go to the stands you, the of the TD Garden now. You can set the seat prices for all these different areas. Uh, I'm changing these up to 95. You can, it's, I'm assuming you at some point you can actually up the capacity if hopefully. Uh, yep, there you go. Number of seats I can set up to 2007. Building will cost $230 and be, work will be done 15 days. It is kind of nice that you can play around as you shops and things like that, the entertainment. So cheerleaders are amateur. They cost 2000 per game, professional, and then exceptional, 10000 We're going to go up to professional. Announcers, exceptional, of course. Professional mascots, 
exceptional professional i think we're fine there uh there is a lot to play with here which is great so search bar I, that's fine get off my screen there's a lot of those so james can i see lebron james no i cannot apparently that's just a first name now, as I'm going through this, I'm trying to go to the recruitment center, the free agents. It would be nice to see, especially for me, who has very little information on uh, most of the league. I don't know who these free agents are. I don't know who Edward Chocot is. So I took a look at him. He's 35 years old. I've scouted the player. Or at least it said I scouted the player. Yeah, a player already being scouted. So I don't have a lot of information. And that's a problem because uh, I'm not going to go through all of these different players. Come on. I'm not going to go through all these different players and just keep scout, scout, scout. I only have six players I can scout at a time anyway. So there are things that I, I definitely would need if I was going to use this as a, you know, play a little bit longer. Luke Cornat is actually injured now. So we're not even at the start of the season yet. But that was another thing. Celtics over the Spurs. Thank God for that, 136. I would love to see and get the ability to, just like out of the park baseball, I can only go day by day it seems. I really need to know if I can, I would love to be able to go, you know, week by week, month by month, go to the next major event, the start of the season, or go to the playoffs, things like that, and you just sin throughout the entire thing. So Cornette is fully recovered from his injury, so go back to actually tactics, assistant coach, ask him what he wants to do, and then we'll go from there. But being able to sim through multiple days, multiple weeks or months at the same time is really a necessity. Uh, I don't want to have to do this day by day for an entire season of, what is it, 80 some odd games? That's a long time to, to sim for. And unfortunately, the Nets won. But you can take a look individually. Jason Tatum with 40 points. Uh, not too bad. Seven for nine three-pointers. Very well done. So we just won our first league match against the Miami Heat. Uh, doing very well. Where are we? So no, that's next time. So 118 to 107, we absolutely dominated them, which is fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, I can't seem to get back to those stats. You know, at least we won the first first game. We are losing money left and right. Uh, that's not good. Probably not going to be a good thing for the rest of the season. Next game versus Miami. Hassar is injured. Next game versus Cleveland. You can see game odds and things like that. So overall, we'll see how the season goes. I'm going to basically get to the end of the season. Uh, and see how we do or how we've done, get to the playoffs, hopefully, and kind of work our way through. Wow, so the fans were uncontrollable, and some of them got into a brawl during the game against New York. It might be wise to increase security in and around the arena. Director satisfaction will increase by 3%. Fan satisfaction will decrease by 6 Cost of $3 million. We're going to ignore that right now. We don't play uh, them every day. So it's kind of cool to see some of those little additions, though. So I got an email saying Brad Stevens, director of Boston's team, uh, his contract is about to expire as director. He wants to, put, but preferred job would be a coach. I can extend his contract, but assistant coach, physical trainer, physio, or scout. And his monthly salary of apparently $1,234 is not doing anything. I can up it to, what is that, a billion dollars or whatever a month? And he's just not wanting to do anything. So you know what? Send. We're going to see how he does. He is not going to like that at all. We're going to continue on, though. But our team has not done very well at all. Uh, if I look at the American League, you can see the standings. We're all the way down in 10th place. We are bringing it back. It was like six, three and 6 or something like that. So we are bringing things back slowly but surely. But we are far off the, the leaders we're supposed to be. Yeah, Brad Stevens has refused the offer that you made him. However, he's still open to negotiations. Proposed job was not to his satisfaction. He doesn't want the job that I can offer him. He wants a director. I can't give him that. So that's kind of a problem here. Uh, it seems, I mean, I would love to, to not have to worry about staffing issues. And I've even said in the beginning, I want my AI to take care of the staff. So I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, there are a lot of little things like that in this game that just seem like as someone new to the game, I don't know what's going on or how to fix it. And there doesn't seem to be any indication of how to actually do that or any help on how to do that. So that's kind of a, an issue that I have right off the bat. So I have been trying to figure out, is there a way to actually sim through more than just a single day at a time or thereabouts? Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there is. And it's kind of driving me crazy. I'm through almost the end of the season. We're not, or at the end of the year, we're not doing very well. 14 and 15, we're about at 500, just below. Uh, 
and I keep having to stop to do these messages, basically saying so-and-so is injured, so-and-so has come back, here's your information on the next game, I gotta go to the assistant coach and set up the teams. I am a stats person. I love seeing stats of players, of teams, and how they do through the course of a month, of a season, of a series, you know, things like that. But when you're having to go day by day, it's impossible to go in a quick amount of time to the end of the season. How does Boston do at the end? It doesn't look like we're making the playoffs at this round. But, you know, if you get a new player come in, how are they going to do at that point? And it, it is kind of beyond annoying for me to deal with. But now again, I will say that I am not an NBA fan uh, as much as people who would actually pay money for this would be. Uh, it is a fantastic game in terms of the stats. There is a lot going on. Uh, I've seen there was one person, one player who missed his family. So they wanted me to, you know, will you pay for to bring his family in or will you not pay? Uh, the fans, there's some good fan interaction. Fans are disappointed. You can see a large number of fans are disappointed after the game against the against Indianapolis. You can see the satisfaction level of the fans. And as, of course, if you get wins, you know, more wins, though, the satisfaction will go up. The more losses, they'll go down, especially in big matches. Um, but overall, you can see a lot of this information, which is fantastic. But when you have to go game by game, if you just want to kind of skip through a week, it gets a little bit tedious. Actually, it gets very tedious. Out of the Park Baseball actually, again, has a fantastic way to do it where you can sim until the next event and not just the next game being an event. You know, in this, every game is an event or plus every other little thing, you know, Cornot is injured is an event. In Out of the Park Baseball, you can sim through a lot of that and you can have your assistant coach manage everything for you. But in this, it just doesn't seem like it's available and that's kind of a problem to me especially for someone who's coming in wanting to see how a team is going to do at the end of the season in this how does the sim work uh, and all of that so unfortunately to me it wouldn't be worth buying um, but for someone who's a diehard NBA fan who really wants to get their hands into the players and all that you know yeah sure I think I can definitely see how it'd be a great pickup now again there are plenty of leagues in this system and they do have a lot of actual licenses with a lot of European teams it looks like I don't know any of these teams the only one I can really figure out is at the Italian League but they do have some teams from a lot of different areas uh, and you can actually get real players it looks like which is fantastic I just obviously NBA is going to be uber expensive to try and get something like this but they have so much involved in this game i think it's it's definitely one to look at i just for me being a football or soccer fan uh, i don't think and really not being a huge basketball person uh, it's not really something i would pick up or take a look at buying but that is it for me 7fm thank you so much for watching take care and enjoy mm -hmm.